In Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, you'll find four senior citizens making socks. Lots and lots of socks. Socks by Bob have knitted 11,662 as of today. That's pairs of socks, which means Socks by Bob has knitted 23,324 individual socks. 8.8 .8 miles of socks. And they're all for charity. The man responsible for all these socks is none other than Bob Rutherford. Enter Bob's knitting machines. These super-powered knitting machines go at 90 turns per second. That's pretty fast. But what makes these machines special are that they're self-made. I'm an experimenter. I just build things. And uh, it took a long time to figure out how to do it. But when you're retired and nothing to do, it just sort of grew. Socks by Bob began in 2010 after the passing of Bob's wife, Edith. I was a caregiver to my wife before she died, and my son came home and said, Dad, you need something to do. I said, well, I made these socks on this first knitting machine. And that sparked an idea, making socks for those in need. But Bob doesn't work alone. He has plenty of help. George cuts the tube link. Glenn and Barney, they will knit tube socks by the roll. Each week, Bob and his team knit hundreds of socks that they then deliver to countless homeless shelters all throughout Canada. The socks are delivered in Alberta, Saskatchewan, BC, Red Deer, Calgary. Some have gone to the northern part of the, the province. In short, they go to where they're needed. People gotta keep involved. You just can't give up because of bereavement or whatever the case may be. I think that knitting socks for needy people is important. People have to reach out and touch each other, I think, as they grow older. And uh, this has helped me do that. And I think that's the, the key to life. You don't give up and find a purpose. Find something that needs to be done and do it.